from action classics like Terminator 2 to the high-speed thrills of Fast and Furious 7, characters have tackled challenges using the minigun family in many movies. These multi-barrel machine guns have gained fame, and now you can find similar ones in airsoft stores. Take the M132 microgun, for instance. Sure, it comes with a price tag of $1,761, but it's no surprise, considering a real minigun costs around $200,000. The microgun packs a punch with all four barrels in action, delivering a firepower of 2,280 shots per minute. You can fuel it not just with compressed air, but also green gas, a mixture with pressurized propane gas. This gun operates at a 6mm caliber and weighs in at 4.4 kilograms. Surprisingly, the Alpha Airsoft team decided to build this vehicle on a whim. After several years of effort, they equipped it with a thermal imager, night vision devices, and a fully automatic gun turret. Additional upgrades include navigation and seven cameras, along with a new 35x zoom feature. The turret houses two airsoft automatic rifles, with enough ammunition for 5,000 shots in total. Control is managed through an Amiga joystick, giving the shooting experience a computer game vibe. Pinning down the exact cost of these enhancements is a challenge, but it's estimated to be somewhere between $16,000 and $27,000. One thing Alpha is confident about, this is the best DIY airsoft creation you've ever seen. The folks behind FLAC 5 and FLAC 10 claim that these aren't your run-of-the-mill shotguns. They're super shotguns, boasting incredible firepower. Let's check if they live up to the hype. Both versions operate on green gas, and a full refill can handle a thousand rounds. They've got a semi-automatic firing mode and a 1.8 meter spread at 30 meters of range. So, what sets them apart? It boils down to the number of BBs per blast, 5 for the FLAC 5 and 10 for the FLAC 10. Remarkably, both models come at the same price, $600. The Tornado 2 comes with a price tag of $125, but it stands out as the most potent airsoft grenade around. It releases 200 BBs in a full 360-degree spread, reaching a speed of 73 meters per second, twice as fast as its counterparts. Conveniently, it comes with a timer offering three settings – one, three, or five seconds. Built sturdy with metal, the Tornado 2 can handle throws on concrete floors. It operates on green gas, and it's a reusable model, which is appropriate considering the price. Interestingly, it's crafted by the same company behind the FLAC 5 and the FLAC 10. They sure know how to make a buck. Similar to Schwarzenegger's gear in Commando, just in a smaller size. That's the idea behind this launcher. It's lightweight, under 100 grams, and compatible with rifles and pistols. You can mount it on a Picatinny or Weaver rail, surprising your enemy with 40 BBs in one shot. Sure, reloading it won't be quick, but in close quarters with multiple opponents, it'll surely rattle some nerves. This solid aluminium piece goes for $63, but remember, you'll need to buy the green gas cylinder separately. Go, 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 go! Out of ammo! <laughs> <laughs> 
Back in 2010, the New York Times dubbed the AR-15 rifle the most loved yet hated gun in the United States. It's reliable, straightforward, and still making headlines today. The airsoft scene hasn't overlooked the AR-15, giving us the Nemesis DT-4, a twin-barrel version worth considering at $470. Buyers get an all-metal receiver, a programmable trigger for tweaking fire modes, and a decent range. Even in windy conditions, it's possible to hit a target at a distance of 76 meters. With an adjustable length from 72 to 80 centimeters and electric power, this product is genuinely intriguing. The creators of the HK Army Fossil CS3 aimed for perfection, and claimed to have crafted the ultimate paintball marker. In terms of cost, it's quite an investment. The LE Aurora version will set you back $4,000. What sets it apart from competitors is the reduced recoil and quieter shots. It's designed to handle pressures between 6.5 and 7.2 bar, which is much lower than the competition. Rough estimates suggest a nearly 20% increase in shooting efficiency compared to the company's previous models. They've also considered ergonomics, providing an improved grip with revised grip geometry. On top of that, the marker sports a vibrant design. Now, let's check out three different grenade launchers. The Airsoft Launcher MGL, similar to its real counterpart, accommodates six rounds of 40mm caliber in the drum. Thanks to the use of plastic, it's relatively light, weighing up to 2.4 kilograms, depending on the version. The MGL comes with a price tag of $255. If that seems too expensive, consider the RPG-26 Aglen at $157. It can hit enemy equipment and fortifications from a distance of 100 meters, even in windy conditions. Plus, the built-in battery provides 100 shots. For those in search of a more compact option, there's the Ultra Force 40. It's a pistol-sized grenade launcher with a similar price as the RPG-26. The range is reduced to 20 meters, but it still handles 40 mm rounds. In 2015, gun enthusiasts were taken aback by the Silencer Co. Maxim 9 pistol. The makers claim that it's the world's first pistol with a built-in silencer, not commissioned by law enforcement. We've already showcased it on TechZone, but what about the Airsoft version? This is a 6mm caliber model, available to everyone for $229. The attention to detail is impressive. Just like the original, the front place is removable. Thanks to reinforced polymers and aircraft aluminium, the gun weighs less than 900 grams. Firing requires either green gas or CO2. The pistol also comes with an exclusive lighting feature. If you spend your days playing airsoft and your nights watching historical movies, you might just dream about something like this. However, in reality, this hybrid between a bow and a rifle isn't just a prop, but a functional weapon. Its power sits around 1.2 joules, but the makers suggest that it can be increased if you want it to feel like a sniper. Technically, the hybrid operates like a spring rifle. The arrow is essentially a piston moving back and forth in the cylinder. It also features a hopper magazine for 30 rounds. For convenience, the weapon comes partially disassembled. 
Interestingly, the maker plans to sell not the weapon, but the 3D files, so people can print the parts themselves. Amidst bow rifles, RPGs, and advanced airsoft vehicles, the CY-16 took it a step further, unveiling a rocket launcher. It runs on compressed air, making it easy to carry and simple to aim. Picture yourself in a game, peeking out from your hiding spot and witnessing rockets in flight. Luckily, the engineering prowess hasn't quite reached the airsoft equivalent of the B-52, or has it? The M249 is a version of the Belgian FN Mini-Me, originally crafted for the US Army. However, it gained popularity worldwide, spreading from Mexico to Japan. As a result, airsoft versions of the weapon are easily recognizable and sell well. Take the Mark II variant, for instance, priced at $400. It weighs almost a kilogram less than the real M249, but doesn't compromise on reliability, according to the seller. The box magazine can hold up to 2400 rounds, and aside from burst firing, it offers a single-shot mode. The basic kit comes with bipods, and there's no need to deal with cylinders as the Mark II operates on electricity. This air rifle is suitable even for hunting wild boars and deer, as it effortlessly propels arrows to 113 meters per second, and offers around 25 shots, depending on the settings. One review even dubs it the world's most enjoyable blend of arrows and pneumatics. Featuring a Picatinny rail for optics and a regulator with a pressure limit of 103 bar, the gun is adjustable in length from 78.7 to 87 centimeters. The PCP release technology ensures higher accuracy and consistent shooting with virtually no recoil. You can get your hands on this air rifle for $300. Have you seen kids blasters like Nerf? This gun could be seen as their next step. It's called the HC Diana, and it features a brushless motor that can propel soft bullets to about 43 meters per second. Interestingly, the magazine is patented and holds 11 bullets. For more economical use, you can opt for bursts of two or three bullets, or even single shots. Plus, for improved accuracy, the front sight post comes with backlighting. Besides, there are additional attachment points, which means that you can add collimators and other upgrades. The standard set with a pistol and clip will set you back $250. The Barrett M82 is so accurate that a sniper can hit a 10 cm target from a distance of 911 meters. The licensed airsoft replica, of course, isn't as long range, but a skillful user can hit targets from a distance of 55 meters. The replica has interesting cartridge cases filled with CO2 through a special adapter. Just like the real weapon, snipers will need to make an effort. It's made in a 1 to 1 scale, weighing around 11 to 12 kilograms, depending on the accessories. Luckily, it comes with a carrying handle, and the company included a bipod. At $1,650, the price reflects all of its features. <laughs>